Mom, I think your meat stick is broken. Them some big sticks. Oh yeah! <laughs> Hi! Undisputed chaos with a savage slim jam! <laughs> The Macho Man! Are they all the same? They are all the same. I'm gonna it's try original. to open this one. You, you got, okay. about, We're only okay, opening one. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna eat this these one. Are as, <laughs> these are as big as telephone poles. Like literal <laughs> telephone poles. Like if you go outside and you measure this up with the ones in the front yard. It's three, these it's, are actually bigger than those phone poles. I My thumb is a third of this <laughs> <laughs> Now imagine like the wires coming off of it. See, I'm imagining like somebody like walking over <laughs> and throwing it with that log toss, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my beef stick, okay. That was a pretty big bite. You're gonna be chewing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes just like... It's kind of big. And we had the original as the highest ranking of Yeah, because it... And there's no difference with the taste. They just wanted the... I feel like hey, the they texture wanted, is weird, though. They wanted to put the Macho Man on one because he was their spokesperson for yeah, years. What we discovered is that we really like the flavor of the, just the original Slim Jim. The flavor is great, but one of the things I personally really like about Slim Rims is, like, the crunch of the meat. I love Slim Rims, too. And it's just like... <laughs> Oh yeah, slim rims, <laughs> pimpin' rides. You can feed him with it if you want. Well, like you get a little bit of crunch at the very beginning, but then as you get Give me with a foam pole. It's not as crunchy. Because it's so wide. It's just like mush. I agree. I actually prefer it's very the mushy. original, like, like the original, like smaller ones. The long they a little mean. bit where more is not necessarily more. Yeah, it's like just food. more. Yeah. I feel like these would be good for, you know, those recipes you can get for camping where you use these and rehydrate them for yeah. the meat. I feel like this would be really good for that. Like, yeah, like, like a take lot of this with you on your backpacking Like trip. when you want to make s'mores out of Slim Jim. Like this is like... No, four, you're making a boomerang out of my phone pole. This is like four days worth of meat for somebody on a trail. Yeah, like literally take this on the Appalachian Trail with you. And you've got dinner for at least three Holy days. Holy cow, do you hear that one? I know, listen, listen, ready? Go on twice. Two, three. I apologize. <laughs> That's a fail. All right, I. What did we rate? You rated it perfect 10 on the original. I don't feel like this, this is, is not, near as good as that. It's not as good. I, she, Sarah's right. It's They're mushy. The snap. Yeah, there's like a snap when you eat Slim Jim. Gush and into the Slim Jim. Says, it actually says on this, snap into a Slim Jim. But mm, you don't make. get that. Yeah, it's like, first off, you have to tear it off instead of snap. And then once it's teared, like you get like one, like almost biting an M&M. Where once you break it, it's just melted. Yeah, and it's kind of like mushy. And like, like like we said, this has would have its place if you were more. on a backcountry trail and you were going to use this in your chili. Or like soup, or you're just going to yeah. dehydrate it and have it with eggs or something. It would be great Put protein. it on your s'mores. Amazing protein for we a camping don't trail. put it on s'mores. Actually, I really want to try that. Can we do a video with that? Can we? I want to know. Things that I talk myself into. <laughs> you could like shove it in the center of the marshmallow and then roast it and then you warm up the meat and the marshmallow. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, let's okay, try it. Well, we'll try that okay, later. That's, that's <laughs> later down the road. road. That's for later. For later. Uh, what we're saying is they'd be great for camping. I'll go with like a 5 out of 10. I mean, it's not actively bad, but it's not as good as We intend the smaller. to do some backcountry camping coming up. Um, and when we do that, maybe we'll take one of these with us and see what we can do with it. I will make a video on that. I do say probably 7 out of 10 for me because I just really love the flavor even though it's mush. I agree. Like just straight mush. Like I feel like in a cooking way this can be really good and if you like chewing tobacco it's like a very similar texture. I don't really chew. Um, I've never had chewing tobacco, so I don't know if she's right about that, but but a friend of mine does do chewing tobacco, and when we ate these on our own, not in this video, um, he said that it's literally just the texture of, like, chewing tobacco. So, 7 out of 10, 
Um, I'd say that's about right. I'm going to go with average 5 out of 10. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I love the OG thinner one better. The slim one. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can make a headband out of that. Like and subscribe. Uh, go try a phone call. See if you like it. Or maybe you don't. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs>